YouTube this is a response video for the question how do you extend the beams I got that in the comments section of one of my videos so I'm going to show you a couple of ways uh, first one is relatively easy uh, you click the beam you want to extend it can be horizontal or vertical and then uh, when you select the beam you follow the red line at the end of it would be a node so you click the node and you can drag it drag it up uh, and you, as you saw that be careful when you drag it make sure you're tracking if you want to drag it straight otherwise you can drag it left right or in any other direction so drag it and then stop click wherever you want to end it uh, also uh, another way to do that is instead of clicking somewhere if you don't have it you've got the how much to extend it by you can then type in that say five feet see and it extends five feet now that is uh, sorry about that, that's my phone uh, that's one way to do it I'm gonna undo all of that and show you another way uh, this one is uh, it's, it's got more action to say the least okay so we're gonna just draw a beam and we're gonna move it there uh, did I move it right? no we're gonna move it there Yeah, and make sure you use the shortcuts. Like instead of move, going to look there, just type M, and that's the move. And there's a bunch of shortcuts. C O for copy, and I'm sure you know some of those. Okay, so this is the second way of doing it. Say you have this column, which is supposed to go as high as that beam. How do you do it? You may not have anywhere to snap on, so and you might not know the distance what do you do this is what you do you go on features at the bottom here you click that and go to this one cut an object it, they don't tell you but this also extends the object but if you've spent time in AutoCAD then you know that uh, and to do this you say you cut select the cutting edge which is that one right click and then select the beam you want to cut cut and extend work in tandem so uh, that's one thing you should note and then right click and boom it extends right uh, I shouldn't have done that too soon I'm going to show you some of the properties okay uh, cutting object okay so I'm just going to change that and then I'm going to yeah okay change it back first okay now I only did that so I can see my joint box here uh, so we're gonna just take a look at it so you see it extends right up to the bottom of that beam I selected so if we've got uh, the column meeting the beam there this is perfect works out all the calculations and whatnot and there is also uh, the properties there as you saw when I uh, clicked it you can change the connection here right away joint properties and you can change this to MIDA and then it cuts a 45 degree right across and it makes uh, uh, a beam that way I mean uh, uh, MITRE connection there and you can add a weld in there so if you're gonna end up welding it or whatever there's, there's gonna be a better way to do this though this is not structurally safe so don't go doing this on the job site uh, you can add weld there so you see that pink thing that showed up that's the weld symbol and whatnot so those are the two ways you can do it uh, anything else you want to know let me know always here YouTube